Do you remember when we were young? It was not that long ago. You hold my hand tight, and you said you would never let go. And as we got older, our friendship grew stronger, and our love for each other grew stronger and more. And when we said we were best buddies, we really meant it, and we took to that word. That will stick together forever. <laughs> Do you remember when we were young? It was not that long ago. You hold my hand tight, and you said you would never let go. And as we go, this is the story of both four friends. They were friends since they were eight, and they kept to their friendship while they flow high school and college and they were like a family and they end up living together with each other because they said their stuff to be a family. This is their story. It was a lovely Saturday and the guys were outside in the backyard talking. David said, I don't understand any single time I pass this hole out in the bed Someone comes in and does this again. Is it swirl? Is it raccoon? I don't know. Michael said, maybe you should get a gun to take your land. David said, this is a low house on the prairie. We live in the city, Michael. Don't be silly. Michael said, oh, I don't know. Maybe it's a kid coming in. David said, why would I get a kid coming in my backyard? Michael said, I don't know. David said, there, the fence is sifted out. Now, if this happens again, I don't know what I'm going to do. Michael said, yeah, you tell whoever does this, to stop doing it. David said, that's the problem. I don't know who it does it. Is it a squirrel? Is it a raccoon? Or is it a kid? Michael said, yeah, it's probably some punk kid, isn't it, Dave? Yeah, I know. Some punk kid. They better stop doing it. Uh, if they get caught, I'll, I'm calling the cops. David said, I'm going to go to the store to buy some sale equipment. Because I'm fell with people breaking into our backyard. Sarah said, aren't you taking this thing a little bit seriously? David said, I'm fat up with people breaking into my backyard. I don't know what it is. Is it a kid or a straw or a raccoon? I'm fat up. Sarah said, yeah, you tell them. If you ever get caught, you tell them that you're fat up. David said, yeah, I know. David basically left to go to the store to buy the snail equipment. Like, uh, he basically came back a whole afterwards and he set it out in the backyard. Holly said to David, don't you think you're taking this a little bit too far? This isn't the way most guys spend their weekends. David said, I'm not taking it far enough. Michael, I Said, I think you are taking a little bit too far, don't you think, David? David said, no. I want to figure out what is going on in my backyard. Holly said, yeah, I think he's right. I think you are taking a little bit too far, David. David says, well, I guess I am, but I don't understand what's going on in my backyard with the fence being broken all the time. It was night time and they spent the rest of the night on like watching movies together. Afterward, around 11 o'clock when they finished watching movies, they went to bed. And this is when David had that dream. What kind of animal are you? What kind of animal are you? Why do you keep on? Breaking in my back, are you a human or are you an animal? What kind of animal are you? You are in my backyard, wrecking my family, and I don't know what to do at all. Cause what nothing is you, is what kind of animal are you? David woke up and said, I had a horrible dream. 
I did not know what I dreamed that I remember about there being a huge hit in the dream and dreaming about what kind of animal that was. He tried, he got out, he got a drink of water and then afterwards he tried to get to sleep but basically he got to sleep. It was the next day and David looked out the window and he noticed someone was trying to break in to the, his backyard, so he went outside and said he could cast them. Hey kid, come back here, you're trespassing on private property. David grabbed the kid and said, why were you breaking in my backyard? The kid said, my name is Pierre. There's a girl on the other side of your property. I have a crush on, and I like to look at her. Oh, I find she very pretty. David said, "Oh, that's the sweetest thing I have ever heard, heard." But guess what? You are not for to be trespassing on private property. You could have just gone over to her house and talk. But D Pierce said, "I just I don't know how to talk to girls." Uh, David said, "Okay." How about we go to the other side of the house and you show me what she looked like. Pierre said to David, this is what I do. I stand on the ball and I look at it. David said, I see. David said, let me have a peek. Pierre said, okay. Pierre got on the ball and said, there, she's out in the back there, look. Look how beautiful she is. She's very pretty. Pierre said, isn't she pretty? David said, yeah, she's adorable. But why don't you call her over here and ask her to come over? Pierre said, I'm scared. David said, I'll do it. Hey, little girl, come over here. The little girl came over to the fence and said hi, and David said, the her boy has a crush on you. The little girl said, "Oh, that's so adorable. David said, come over. Pierre said, okay. That day, Pierre and C.W. came really good friends, and they were invited over to the barbecue at David's house. It was nighttime and it was time for the barbecue and they were outside and they had a party. I can so recall our last summer, laughing in the rain, walking along the sand, French and me. Our last summer, it doesn't seem that long ago. I can so recall our last summer, walking along the sand, laughing in the rain, our last summer. Do you remember when we were young? It was not that long ago. You hold my hand tight, and you said you would never let go. And as we got older, our friendship grew stronger, and our love for each other grew stronger and more. And when we said we were best buddies, we really meant it, and we took to that word. That was stick together with her. <laughs>